Good morning and welcome to another workbench. And this morning I thought I'd work on the signal tracer project. And on the bench I've got the components ready to put the thing together and to just do a couple of experiments at first to see whether the, uh, the idea is sound before I start putting things together. So what I've got is I've got the little LM386 amplifier board. Um, the pair of clip leads is actually connected to my phone and these are the loudspeakers I've got. Now they come as a stereo pair but we'll soon sort that out. Here we go. There we go, there's one separated from the other. And for this I'm just going to test them as a pair of speakers, as a standalone speaker rather than do anything severely sort of complicated with them. While that's in the air I'm just going to uh, put a bit of solder on these. Just to make them a little bit more resilient to uh, going into the screw terminals. Now these are just positive and negative. It actually marked on the board ground and out. So let's just unscrew these a touch like that. And poke these in the holes. Obviously in the final one I'm planning to actually solder this direct to the board because I'm going to get rid of these terminals because they're just too big um, and I don't need them and uh, to make it fit in the tube obviously uh, I need to compact the board down as, as much as I can. Um, I've also got to put an audio ground in there which is also a voltage ground and one of these pins is an input again I will be removing this terminal strip so what I'm going to do for this test is I'm just going to move that down like that for audio these are horrible little clip leads but uh, you know what can you do so let's see what this amplifier actually does let's get the power supply leads just connect ground to ground uh, positive to positive right so I've got I've got a little red light so let's turn the phone on now and see how the audio sounds that's playing So there we go, that's the... Let's just turn it down. We do have output, we do have uh, sound, and that's currently running off five and a half volts. So it doesn't need a great deal of current. Um, now what I really should do is look up the maximum voltage of 386 I believe it's about 15 volts 5 to 18 volts so you could run it off 12 volts which would be a standard power supply um, you could actually run it off the valve heater supply on a radio if you put a rectifier in now that's another thought isn't it hmm so proof of concept is, at the moment it works, um, all I'd have to do is work out a better way of controlling volume and the mounting system. 
also the switching between RF and AF, which is just bypassing the germanium diode. But uh, generally, I think this will work fairly well. Now we're back again, and we've now got the prototype uh, of the audio probe. Now, this is just the first prototype, and as you see, it's squeezed into the tube. Um, the loudspeaker fits in. This is the ground wire, and at the end you have a standard bolt with a nut and a little uh, captive um, clip in there just to stop it coming out the end. I've also put a small hole in the side so that I can adjust the volume with a flat bladed screwdriver. So there's no actual real circuitry here, there's a, a capacitor between the probe and the input just to protect the board from any voltages, it's a 0 0.01 um, 10 nanofarad capacitor which goes straight onto the the board it's a, a 1 kV capacitor and the other capacitor is just purely decoupling it goes between the input and ground and um, that's a 4.7 nanofarad capacitor um, normally on the circuit diagrams you would see a resistor uh, on the probe purely to go into a meter so that um, you would be able to read RF or audio voltages but all we're doing with this is using it as a tracer. We're not actually trying to measure voltage just to see if there's any audio there. So what I've done is the phone should be playing music still. Um, you connect the ground lead up and then So that is, is it. Now you can just probe your circuit board. Um, you don't have to worry about that going back because the nut on the end will hold it in position. And you're just I'm not looking for high fidelity, in fact, it's picking up signal from my fingers there. But there we go, that's a little audio probe. It's currently running off the power supply at you know, just over 5 volts, so you could actually connect this end to a 9 volt battery at the moment. If I bring it onto the bench, you can see that it's just on a pair of clip leads going to my power supply. And um, yeah, a nine volt battery or you know whatever. You, if you put a, a rectifier in, you could run it off um, the DC uh, or the heater voltage or the heaters in an AC radio um, with a, a diode rectifier in there just to power this board. So if you put a rectifier in the the positive line there. Um, you, you could use this, clip it on and power it from the unit under test. Now obviously if I'm going to make one for RF, um, I'd use a germanium diode. If I put the diode in, it will rectify the RF and put it out as a voltage. Now, any audio on that RF will be an AC waveform, so you will actually hear it through the amplifier. And it's, it's as simple as that. There aren't a vast amount of components involved. Um, you don't have to build it into a tube like this. You can build it into whatever container you like. You're only limited by the size of your speaker and this board. And as you see, um, these little cheap Chinese boards 
fit in. So, you know, f for less than two or three dollars uh, US prices, you've got a fully working audio probe. And uh, yeah, there we go. If you like what I'm doing, let me know. Leave a comment down below if you think I can improve anything or if you think uh, there are any improvements on this circuit. Uh, if you think I'm doing something completely wrong, leave a comment. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and click the bell icon, then you'll hear of any new videos I release. Thanks very much for watching and hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Bye for now.